Welcome to the ruins of Rasebori Castle, one of the very first tourist attractions in Finland. Here, whilst life was harsh for all those who lived and worked in or outside the castle walls, piracy, executions, shipwrecks, sieges, trading, festivities and court life all flourished. The guided tour you are about to hear consists of three parts. 1. The history of the castle. 2. The people of Rasebori. And 3. The past and present Rasebori. The tour has been funded by Västnyländska Kultursamfundet as an EU project. The people of Rasebori Castle. During the 179 years of its inhabitancy, Rasebori Castle boasted at least 17 lords and bailiffs. The first lord of the castle was Tord Röriksson Bunde, who governed it for 30 years. The German trade organization, the Hanseatic League, dominated the early 1400s with exotically named bailiffs such as Thomas van Witsen, Janneke Hampmoos, Kort Gartz, and Otto Pogvish. After the mid-15th century, the castle was controlled by its most renowned and wealthy men, the aforementioned Karl Knudson Bunde and Lars Axelsson Tott. Only one lady has been in charge of the castle, Katarina Eriksdotter Nieperts, who ruled the castle following her husband's death in 1483, before the regent of Sweden, Sten Sture the Elder, took control four years later. From the 16th century we should mention Nils Eskilsson Baner, who was executed on Gallibacken or Gallows Hill, just north of the castle in December 1520, when King Christian II settled accounts with his opponents after the bloodbath of Stockholm. The last lord of Rasebori, Erik Fleming, was removed by the king Gustavus Vasa for his harsh treatment of the peasantry. Rasebori is said to be haunted by Lars Axelsson's first wife, Katarina Johans Dotter Wiffert. She was on her way with her son to meet her husband at Rasebori in the late autumn of 1468. Lars had been waiting for them since spring. The ongoing war had made the journey too dangerous. But there was no reunion. The lady and her son drowned in Rasebori's outer archipelago, together with two hundred souls on board. It is said that in favourable conditions, when the new moon is seven days old, and the fog from the stream settles around the castle. One can see two figures rising from the mist. Katarina and her little boy are finally home. <laughs>